Hello guys. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, low poly character. So actually, I will be providing you with this thing. This is the base of the character. It's a chibi base. It's low poly and number of tries is 558 now. So as you can see, I try to make it as low as possible. And if you were wondering why the texture seem like this, it's because I had turned on the where was it? Okay. Uh, the smooth shading. By default it will be set as a fat shading. So if you turn on the smooth shading, you will get a better result for a low poly character. So let's talk about this base first. So like I said, I will be providing this base. There are two versions of the base. Um, this is from the raw file that I will be providing. You can download it at uh, the link below. I will share it uh, through Dropbox and here is the link but don't worry they will be in the description so let's go back to the blender and oh wait here um, here you will get the girl chibi base and the male chibi base the different art that big uh, the difference is only on the hip since the female have a wider hip I guess hip I think it's hip okay so whatever it is so the male will have a kind of like more slimmer body. but you know how male and female character being different so there isn't much of difference here okay so enough with uh, the base so now I will show you how to start so now I'm going to have the girl chibi base and actually with me I have a kind of like the basic of how I'm going to make the character and okay let me mm. and everything is where was it wait 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 oh okay yeah here we go So you can find this image. This image is not mine. Do not uh, credit to those or to whoever did this. It's really good, and I actually uh, use this as the reference for their clothes. So, yep. Let's open back here, and we going to keep on referring with that. Okay, so now the first thing I will teach you is the easiest way to do the character clothes. You want to reduce the uh, the character polygon as much uh, as you can. Uh, by the way, uh, here are the screen cast key. So if you are wondering what I'm pressing, uh, you can see it here, and I will explain what I'm pressing. Uh, I will try to treat you as a beginner on Blender. So the first thing first is I want to see how actually the character is. I need to re see it. Again. Okay, so the cloth is like that. I have actually done a bit of character modeling and one of them is this. This is the female character. And you can see I can get this result with a low poly and this is the angry mode so and that is the female one and this is the male one and I will show you how to get until that step until uh, you have finished the UV texture and onward it will be on your own so now first let's get the clothes so what I like to do is press the Z key to enter into a keyframe mode. You can also press it here into wireframe. It's a keyframe. It's wireframe. But the Z key is the shortcut, and you can press the one numpad one, 
so numpad is the one at the left side not the, not on the top if you are confused with the num key so what i like is just press control and then just drag it so the function of this is to oops hold oh, oh. so now i'm realized uh, if i want to make the clothes on the hand where we go. Okay. on the hand you see here so we don't want the sleeve to go onto the elbow don't mind my english please it's bad i know so what you're going to do is press ctrl r and this is going to have a loop cut you can do it anywhere so we'll take it somewhere like around here okay so then we can now move on onto press control and then just drag your mouse into make this tool so this is for the shirt okay. so after i'm doing this uh for if you want to make a t-shirt this is enough if not then if you were going to make the same as me uh, this cloth then you need to unclick this by pressing shift and then right click as you can see down here so you can see so now this is the magic part where you just press E for extrude but then directly left click so the thing is there it's already being extrude and the only thing we need to do now is scaling it scaling it a little bit bigger and you can adjust this as big as you want but i'm just going to make it just uh, yep it seems nice don't worry about this the hand may come out a little bit so enter object mode and you can see it's already come out but don't worry we're going to make a tiny adjustment on that later so let's start with the close first so you can open this side of property um, on here you can also press N so that just the hotkey and for the left side is T so actually the way that i really like to do is to minimize this and then make an extra screen so how do i make that you see this three line here you just drag that and if you want to close uh the other side you just drag the one that you want to use and just drag it on the other side and like me usually i like to make it into solid solid mode on here so i can see what i do or maybe on rendered mode that is also okay and so why i want to use it uh, on render mode on the other side is because okay here you can see on the render mode you can see that the clothes isn't look like a real cloth it's going through here so we want we want to adjust that so just click on this point you need to do this uh, one by one you cannot just click everything and do it so you open the on the right side using the N key and then you press this on the X axis on the vertex column and just enter it zero and enter and what you see is that it will connect oh by the way if you just curious actually on the modifier i had turn on the mirror modifier so i only need to do it on the left side and it will be copy on the other side so i'm going to do this quickly do note that only do this on this uh, on the middle part no need to do it on the others and you can see it look better a little bit better but then one thing that you will notice is that here you can see the shadow is truly uh, falling here 
and it seems like the cloth is uh, actually being divided by half and we want to uh, we don't want those effects so what do we need to do is enter back into as the key so you can see because we extrude we have this thing in the middle and i don't want that i need to delete that so again shift for multiple click and oh yeah for dragging you just click shift and then middle mouse button to drag and yeah make sure you don't do uh don't click it here because if you delete this and everything uh, will be destroyed let me show you if i do that and then i click the delete button and delete vertices and there you can see this to undo just control z and let me unclick that and then do it one more time delete the vertices and now you will see it look better and one of the good thing that we do that is that we reduce the number of tries there on the edges and let's do a minor adjustment here um here let's put this a little bit here and there do note that this is my way of doing it you can do it by uh using your own way and if you find an easier way please tell me and also here is a trick that i learned if you want to click the whole loop here just click one and then you click, press alternate and click on the line that you want and as you can see it's already going to click all of that and then just adjust it to where it is going to be so it's already in that and this way is good but then uh, if you see here on the rendered mode uh, you will see the inside of it and that won't be that good so again alternate press here then you will see you will select the one that attached the hand and then you just want to drag it a little bit higher inside and make sure everything is perfect and is better okay so oopsie okay let's resize this thing a bit uh press s for scale to make it big and then just drag okay. just a little bit there okay that way okay so oops still can see through so i want to skip it a little bit more i hope that is going to fix it okay so now here you can see you have done the basic of the cloth and oops this one doesn't look right so okay so as for this skirt you just want to alternate select that and you can just have it like that and then you use it again the extrude tool so you can see extrude is like extending so we don't want it to go like this so just press Z so that it will only extrude through the Z axis so we want it to extrude if you want to make it simple you can just extrude it one time like this and then uncheck the one in the middle and then just pull it back you can scale it a bit make it until you feel comfortable I think until the way that you want I want to make it a little bit top and yep yeah, I'm quite satisfied with that okay, yes. okay. here we go now once you do that you have get you have get the basic of the character and as you can see it's already have the clothes there so now we want to move on into the detail like this uh, 
think it's something like handkerchief I'm not sure at Japan there they use this and we have this detail here the clothes there and the shoes so as for the shoe let me make the shoes guess it that one is just a quick one okay for the shoe rather than extra I want to just make a loop cut control R as you can see that loop cut like the one we do at uh, for the hand and then just uh, okay make it just a little bit top from the shoe so I don't really want to change the shoe so you want to scale it down a bit and then just pull it downward and there we go and as you can see here it already look like she wearing a shoe see if you don't want to make uh, this kind for the shoe uh, it's okay you can just use the texture but I prefer it this way and now let's move on to the detail